Aries, happy birthday. It is your season. We are going to go through all zodiac signs, Aries through Pisces first, see what that specific sign could be thinking, feeling, and then do a mini spread for you. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, it is not your story, acknowledge and move on. Check your other placements, check back another time. I hope things are going fucking awesome for you. So, starting with God help us in Aries with an Aries, pretty strong power. Sir Spirit's Guides, what do we have for Aries dealing with an Aries, please? Aries dealing with an Aries. Okay, so this person's kind of an asshole, very manipulating, very shitty with how they approach things in life, and very much watching you. We say drop that one. How about the Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Aries dealing with a Taurus, please, source. A lot of passion here, and it does look like they'd be willing to bend like bamboo in the breeze and offer something that's even nice. Heavy on the Aries Leo Sag and Earth, just giving you a little background because it doesn't always mean that it has to be that sign. All right, Gemini. Did you know with a Gemini? Ooh. The Gemini's really got an eye on you. Very going, very passionate, wanting to come forward. That's a lot. Okay, what else do we have? So they're they're giving up. They're, they're refocusing so that they can look more long-term. They're getting to that point. They might be seeing you that way. But this person, this is your card to begin with. But it's heavy on the lust, passion, bold, not afraid to move your direction. Mm -mm. Bottom of the deck for that one, we have the star. So it does look like that could go somewhere. All right, what do we have for cancer? Cancer. Cancer. All right. We have. Ouch. Okay. So if somebody doesn't want things to be over. They're having a hell of a time moving beyond something that was extremely painful. But it is the ending of this. Got stabbed in the back. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Really wondering if this is worth putting any effort into. That's what we have for a they cancer or. Leo. What do we have for Leo? Leo. Leo's. One more shuffle. Leo, Leo, Leo. Well, Leo's taking an emotional time out here. A lot of head games. They're finally seeing things clearly. This feels like something else coming. To, oh, yeah. They're, they're still they're having shitty memories of the past. Gotta say it like I see it here. Not sure if that involves you or not, but... Somebody made a choice, and somebody wants to win at all costs, so they're just taking an emotional vacay, kind of going within, but they're not thinking very fondly of the past at all. Virgo. I don't feel like that has anything to do with you, though. Okay, so this person feels kind of burdened and, and dragged down all right but they do want a new beginning and they're willing to collaborate with you bottom of the deck we have the king of cups so i mean there is emotion here and a potential to move forward but with that ten of wands reversed a bit much so it's almost like this person might need a little bit of push <laughs> to get them moving but they they certainly have a sexual interest in you they just might be one of those poor me people that kind of just get a bit much with the shit going on in their life. Like it's pity party USA, but nothing major. Okay, moving on to Libra. We're going to switch decks. All right, let me my mom. Let's go with this one. Libra. Aries dealing with the Libra? Okay. So this person's kind of feeling depressed. They don't want, this is a separate deck, they don't want an ending to something and it has to do with a very strong connection with you. Also has a Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio placement. <sighs> That's heavy shit. All right, we'll leave that right where it is because we are gonna get clarification. And your full spread, Scorpio. Okay, so the Scorpio wants to possibly come back your direction, but not sure that you're going to feel like it's worth investing. So they don't know how, they don't have any clue how you're feeling about it. They're still trying to, 
I almost feel like they're watching you and they're afraid to come your direction because you don't feel like it's worth putting the effort into it. But they do want to come your direction. So that feels like a potential reconciliation is what that person's looking for. Sag. What do we have for Sag, please, Source? Sagittarius. Okay, don't trust the Sag. That's happy horse shit. So they want to come in fast and furious, but they're selfish as fuck. They don't offer anything that's stable at all. Mm -mm, look at this shit. If you end up dealing with this fast pony here, keep your pants up. Keep your britches up because this person's going to ghost you if they got the chance. Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy on that. Very self-centered. Can be very bossy and have a temper. Too quick, in and out. They disappear. All right. Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, so I feel like this person's all up in their feels. They're sorry about something. They're not seeing that they can get beyond their own bullshit. Trying to drop some of the anxiety. With the Queen of Cups, it's like they're very emotional right now. Feels like that they had an ending here. And so, you know, trying to drop some of this emotional burden, but they're not seeing... They're trying to finally move beyond the conflict that there had been in a connection. That's what I'm getting for that one. Aquarius. One more shuffle. Then we'll grab a clean deck. Justice flew out, so it can also have a Libra placement. Okay, so this is a very potent person. Very clear. They could be thinking that you're involved with another person. However, this, this person's reliable. The emperor is almost like all four kings put together in justice. You can't get much better balance than that. Honesty also could be dealing with uh, law issues right now. But, you know, this is a breakthrough. Mm-hmm. All right. Aries dealing with the Pisces. 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 Okay, somebody that's kind of shy, coming at you really slow, but they do want to have something to celebrate, waiting for you. I really got this feeling that you could have met them at work, but they want a connection with you. They want something to celebrate. Shy, really feeling that they're shy. Okay, grabbing another deck, and then we're going to try to narrow things down a little bit for you. All right. Source, Aries, mean energy. Mean energy coming towards Aries right now, please, Source. Okay. You're finally dropping this painful ending that you have been dealing with. And just in time for somebody to try to come back. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. I don't think you see this yet. Well, holy shit. So now you got two cards of somebody trying to reconcile or potentially come back your direction. Now this can just be for closure. Bottom of the deck we have the King of Wands, so you wouldn't see this shit coming at all. Aries feelings. How are you feeling right now? You're you're moving on. You're moving forward after this tower situation that you had. Yeah, you really took a time out to heal. We got a lot of cards here, though, so let's see what else. Could have been a Libra that you were dealing with. I'm going to try and put it that way. Somebody that you had a long-term connection with ended up in a third-party situation. There was cheating. Okay, so that ended. What do we have for the other person's side? Who's coming towards Aries? They haven't decided to do this yet, but boy, are they thinking about it. Their energy is all over this shit. They're really trying to decide if you would take an offer or you would think it was too small. Right now, they're all up in their head being an asshole. Heavy on the air sign. King of Swords. I mean, it can be emotional manipulation, but he comes off really cold and shitty. Can just be a very negative air sign. So Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But it's like... They're not deciding yet. They're really thinking about it. They want to see something grow and move forward. All right, let's see. 
How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this asshole on the other side? How do you feel about this King of Swords reversed? One more shuffle. Sorry to bring up the past. Okay, so they it looks like they walked away. They felt too burdened. You feel that they caused a bunch of shit, but you still love them. Yep, yep, bottom of the deck. This could be... I'm sorry, guys, but this could be a new beginning. Very passionate one, but more stability. The world shows that it's a new cycle that can be beginning. I don't think this is happening overnight. I don't know if you're even going to be seeing it. However, this person's really thinking about it. I'm feeling that they're having one hell of a time. Yeah. Why is this person so stuck up in their head and having a hard time? They're thinking about you. Six of Cups. That's at the bottom of the deck. They could be trying to come in and offer something more stable and they need to get happier first but I think they want to offer you happiness and long term start small and it's like somebody trying to get their foot back in the door potential outcome I mean it's really going to be obviously up to you but it does look like you're going to have to make a decision two of wands moving forward decision to make decision to make you have a decision to make after they make a decision there's a decision two 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 Mm hmm. What was that? No, that wasn't in here. Justice is a two as well. Heavy Libra, heavy, heavy air. Everything's pretty much up here, but what do you need to know? Yeah, this is karmic. This is karmic. This connection. If oh boy. <laughs> Sorry. This is definitely, for some of you, not all of you, somebody from the past that's going to come back your direction. Could have been a soulmate. Can be a Gemini. But thing, it's a positive move forward. You're going to have to decide what's best for you. But mm, that's a lot of harmony and connection. All right. What do we have for single Aries? Very single Aries. Very single, single Aries. Okay, Queen of Cups. So you could have a water sign coming your direction and you are getting pretty damn restless. You want something to come your way. Don't lose faith. You have the star reversed because something is cool. Ooh. There is something coming, but it's dead. I'll show you the last three cards of the deck here. Let me pull them out. So you do have a newer connection coming, but it's just slow as hell. Here's communication that's coming in. Can be somebody at a distance from you wanting to offer you something, but oh, are they slow. So try not to get too fidgety about it. It is coming. It can be jealousy issues, you know, all up in your feels. Use your intuition because and don't lose hope because there is a there is a new offer coming your way. Eight of Wands is possibly somebody at a distance, but it's talking, it's communicating, it's fast communication, like texting, um, FaceTime, etc. But it's a very new offer, slow as hell. All right, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to get one or two yes, no, maybe so questions answered. So question one for Aries, pause the video if you feel the need. Question one, please, source. Question one of two. Question one. Question one. What do we have? Trust. Ooh, abundance. Question two. What do we have for question two for Aries? No need to worry. And big happy changes. I do think that things will... I think that there is a potential with this person. There seems to be something very different about this person's energy. Their personality... You're going to know who this is. I don't need to tell you that. Can be an Aquarius. Heavy, heavy, heavy on the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But, I mean, this is your overall energy. Are you trying to manifest this? New beginning after a heartache? Because, holy crap, this is moving back. Moving into smoother waters. Having a hell of a time or not able to leave for some reason. 
Eight of Cups reversed is not wanting to emotionally move on or something returning. That's what I'm getting for you, Aries. Um, can also be a Leo, with the, but they're really thinking about you and trying to think more positively about the long term. Can still be working on finances. They got two cups or uh, pentacles up here working on. Jealousy, jealousy, jealousy for you singles. You gotta keep your shit together and be more hopeful. Don't put anything. That's a beautiful card, isn't it? Star. Aquarius. There is movement and it's coming and I'm feeling that it's going to be midsummer. Holy schmoly. All right. Happy birthday again, Aries. And I hope this didn't resonate with everybody, but hopefully resonated with some. Many blessings. See you next time.